Erase it. So you're sitting there, you know, you're down four with one of their best players going to the free throw line, like 28 seconds left, and you see them start bringing out the yellow cord, and you're seeing the San Antonio fans pop their shirts. You see, you hear behind you the bench celebrating because you've been in that moment before. You know how it feels. You know that celebration, and it just sucks. I don't think that was uh, something that you really want your kids to see. We would see our dad on the weekends, and we'll see him, you know, and he was doing much better than we were. My dad had um, step kids at the time. They were all boys. They all liked to play basketball. They all were able to do the things that Dwayne liked to do. One day, my sister tricked me and said we was going to the movies. We take the bus, and at the time, my father was standing on 79th and Marshall Field. It stops right there, and I see my stepbrother out, out outside, and she's like, you know, there, there go Donnie. Like, don't you want to go play? So I'm like, yeah, yeah, I want to go play. And then she said, I'll be back. I'll, I'll come back to get you tomorrow. So I'm like, okay, cool. She get back on the bus. And, and um, she never came back. So how did things change once Dwayne was gone? Once Dwayne left, I felt like I had nothing. So I became the worst drug addict that I ever could. My role went crazy. And it seemed like I couldn't get out of that place. It seemed like I couldn't get out of that place. I didn't care no more. I didn't even care if my mother knew I shot dope dead. I just, oh my God, I became disgusting. Good baseline cut by Pierce. Garnett gave it back to him, and that helped create the three-point shot. Oh, what a pass and wave with the finish. Pierce Lynn racing up the floor. Blocked by Wade. Wade, the floater. This guy is Wade. Here he comes. Yeah, oh, baby. Wade slips the defense in with it. Oh, right in the grill. Welcome to my poster, Okafor. Three will take a more difficult shot, but Wade all alone for the offensive rebound and the jumper. times no until all the no's become meaningless all your life they will tell you Chris Bosch 12 shots Dwayne Wade 15 shots Mario Chalmers 9 shots Ray Allen 11 shots you're talking yesterday 14 points in the fourth quarter what I'm saying to you is that when Dwayne Wade is on the floor the ball by and large is going to be in his hands Sometimes it's in LeBron's well, I, hands, but, but other times... Don't you think that's a new deal, then, no, no, if it's no, going to be in Dwayne's it, hands? No, 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 no. It's not a new deal. There oh. have been times in the past when it's, they're interchangeable. They, well, they can run plays where it's in LeBron's hands. They can run plays when it's in Dwayne Wade's hands. The point that I'm trying to make to you is that the reason it's an adjustment and the reason it's difficult is because of the sporadic health of Wade. Before, in years past, he was in the lineup. This year, he's been in and out of the lineup. So LeBron, just like KD, he got going. But then when Russell Westbrook came back, it was an adjustment. Even though KD was still dropping 25 a game, it was still an adjustment. Mm -hmm. It's an adjustment for LeBron. I'm not trying to act like it's not a problem. I'm saying in the end, it's not one in reality because they're measured by April, May, and June, not March. Until you know. Here we go again, Jalen. Another night, another memorable performance. How is D Wade continuing to perform at such a high level, night in and night out? Definite MVP candidate, but also attack the basket at will and shooters to spot up and knock down shots or athletes to finish around the basket. Dwayne Wade, as a performer, is almost like being on an obstacle course, and the cones are standing still. He when the, how she watched me in games with excitement and joy, I'm watching her the same way, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm just smiling, I'm just looking around like, it's my mom, like, I'm proud. Joe Linda began to develop a following and started looking to buy a church in Southside Chicago. 
Ultimately, Duane paid nearly $2 million to purchase this property for his mother. My son loves his mommy, and he believes in the God in me. He believes in the work that he see me doing. He believes. Jolinda Wade says she's now been clean for nine years, and Duane bears witness to the message of mercy and grace in her testimony. And, and many are called, but few are chosen. That's funny because when I call them, they won't listen. They won't come out. They won't believe the sign, Jolinda. So now this is like a new beginning, you know, from the 25, first 25 years was the first 25. I'm on the other side, 26. So we'll see how the next 25 go. So it's a, it's a new beginning. Pastor D. Wade. Oh. <laughs> yeah? yeah? I can see it. Amen. Uh, I can't see it. Leave that up to my mother. 